All right, now we're going to do some other types of derivatives that you really need to know. Um, the first one are the derivatives of the trig functions. Now, I want you to memorize these. I'm going to show you the derivations, um, but or I'm going to show you a couple of derivations. Uh, we'll see what kind of room I have. But for the most part, the derivative with respect to x of tangent is secant squared. The derivative with respect to x of secant is secant tangent, while the derivative with respect to cotangent is minus cosecant squared, and the derivative with respect to x of cosecant is minus cosecant cotangent. Now the trick here, let me just show you this one. What if I do derivative with respect to x of tan x? Now suppose I write tan x is sine over cosine. So let me let f equal sine of x and then g equal cosine of x. The derivative of f, derivative of sine is cosine and g prime is minus sine. So we're in the situation of f over g. I can now apply the um, quotient rule to find my derivative. So the derivative with respect to x of tangent is, all right, it's the denominator, it's g, so it's cosine times, it's g, times the derivative of f, so that's cosine, all right, minus f, which is sine, times the derivative of g, which is minus sine, divided by g squared, and g is cosine x. Ah, I'm seeing a trig identity here. This is cosine squared, x, negative, negative is plus sine squared x divided by cosine squared x. So this is 1 over cosine squared x. Don't want to write it that way. So let's write it as secant squared x. Very straightforward. Now, let's do the secant x. So we can again use the, um, the quotient rule. If I write secant, let me write it this way. Secant x is 1 over cosine x. Ah, now let's let f of x equal 1. Then the derivative of f of x is 0. g of x is cosine. And g prime of x is negative sine. All right. Now let's apply the quotient rule. The derivative with respect to x of secant x becomes g of x, which is just cosine of x, times the derivative of f, which is 0. And then it's minus f of x. Now I like to write it this way because you wind up going across. All right, like that. So it's f of x times g prime, which is minus sine of x, all over g squared. So that's 0. Minus, minus becomes a plus. So this becomes sine of x over cosine squared. Now it's just a little bit of algebra to rewrite this as sine over cosine times 1 over cosine. So this becomes tangent secant. All right, your turn. When you're done, um, turn the video back on. All right, now we're going to talk about higher order derivatives. We've already sort of touched on higher order derivatives when I talked about velocity 
is the derivative of position. And I also talked about acceleration. But let's lay it out here. When we have our first derivative, okay, and say we have some y equals f of x. All right, the first derivative is y prime. And that's, we, sometimes we write that as f prime of x. And this is the derivative with respect to x of y. Now, another way we write this is the derivative with respect to x of f. And another way we write it is the derivative, capital D, I don't do this very often, with respect to x of y. Well, once we have the first derivative, sometimes we can take a second derivative. Not always, but sometimes. The second derivative is y double prime. Another way we write this is f double prime. Or we can write this as the second derivative with respect to x squared. Now the placement of these squares is very important. The square goes with the d in the numerator and the x in the denominator. Um, we also write this as d squared of f of x. It doesn't matter, dx squared. So it's a second derivative of f with respect to x. And if we're using our capital D notation, it would be d squared of y. All right, let's keep going. Third derivative. Is y, you got it, triple prime. Well, same thing as f triple prime. And it's say the same thing as d, the third derivative of y with respect to x. It's the same thing as the third derivative of f with respect to x. And if we use our capital D, notation. Okay, so you got the idea. This goes on down until you have the nth derivative. The nth derivative, let me just keep doing this, is now we put an n up there. After you get past three, uh, the slash marks get to be a, a bit of a hassle, so we switch to the numbers. Or we can say f to the n. This is the nth derivative. Now you have to be very specific when you're using this notation right here that you're talking about derivatives. Um, once you leave and get numbers, I never use f. I never use this, but we're going to do it for completeness. So we also write it as the nth derivative of y with respect to x or the nth derivative of f with respect to x or capital D x nth derivative of y with respect to x. All right. Now, this is, I don't have the little thing here, but this is a notebook problem. Put this in your notebook. When you're done with the video, turn it off and complete your homework.